Our first guest tonight is a very funny actress you know from movies such as The Other Woman. This is 40 and Blocker. She's currently starring in The Bubble, which is streaming now on Netflix. Please welcome back to the show our friend Leslie Mann, everybody. <laughs> Long time. It has been a long time. It is lovely to have you here in person. And I think since the last time I've seen you, you are now officially, the term is, you are an empty nester. I know. Yeah. I am. Both girls are out of the house. Yes, they yeah. are. I have um, Iris, who's 19, yep. and she's now in college. And then Maude, who is 24. Is she 25? No, she's... She's 24? We'll she's correct it in post. I think... <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, and yeah, I'm, you know, I was, I got pregnant. So yeah, she's 25. So, yeah. um, so I, got <laughs> I got pregnant 25 years ago and I basically have only thought about them yeah. and their interests and their health and well-being and that's it. And haven't thought about myself in 25 years. And now that they want nothing to do with me, I'm like, yeah. I don't know what right? you, who I, I am. Yeah. You maybe are a little you're like addicted to them and now you have to wean yourself off there there every day. I think so. Yeah. I mean, I just I'm like lost and and people say like do you have hobbies or yeah. like what are your interests and I don't have any. <laughs> I know what Iris is interested in uh -huh. and what Maud is interested in, but I don't know. Yeah. And okay, so I, I, I've been talking to a lot of people about this. Going, and, like, trying to get advice. Yeah, 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 like, what do I do about this problem? And a lot of people are telling me to try ayahuasca. Okay. Which is, like, apparently you take ayahuasca, which is, like, an amino acid. Okay. And um, you meet God. Yeah. And God tells you what your, what your path should be. Yes. It's like a supplement, like a vitamin supplement. You right. get it at, like, GNC. <laughs> No, but I've heard, uh, uh, first of all, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say you're getting a lot of advice from parents who live in Los Angeles. <laughs> I think I, I think, am. I think this is very much empty nester advice from Hollywood. From Hollywood, <laughs> I know, but I know. Because this seems like, the what I've heard about ayahuasca, not having done it. You haven't done it? No, I haven't done it. Okay. No interest. Okay. No interest. Really? I, absolutely not. Okay. A hundred, first of all, it sounds very intense, right? It's like sweat lodgy and like yeah, it's like a- Yeah, and vomiting yeah. and stuff, yeah. It's like a 12 to 24 hour trip. Also, by the way, I love his work. I don't want to meet God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't, like, I don't want to also, I don't want to talk to anybody who thinks they met him. Right, I know. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. And what if he tells you like, do something that you really don't want to do. Like, yeah. your path is this thing. Have you met people who are like, lives are now to take like a sharp right turn because they did ayahuasca and now they're like, yeah, so now. No. Now I'm wearing, no. now I'm wearing these shirts. <laughs> <laughs> no, those people don't seem yeah. well. I think it's a lot of people who are like, I went and God said you're doing great. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a lot of people who are like, already feeling pretty good about how they're doing. Yeah. So don't yeah. do that. Don't do ayahuasca. Okay. Okay, yeah. You, but also, like, I imagine as a mom. Yes. You are, you know, a loving mom. You keep an eye on your kids. Did you have to, like, at some point let go of that and let them, are you letting them live their own lives? Are you, like, not keeping tabs on them in the way you did when they were in the house? Um, I do, I, I kind of, I, well, I, they, okay. So since, <laughs> since, since they moved out, they stopped letting me follow them on Find My Friends, okay. which is a tracking app. Yep. But what they don't know is <laughs> that, um, and we're not going to tell them. No, of course not. Um, is that their Uber accounts are connected to my credit card. So uh, every time they go somewhere, wow, I, I it alerts me, and which sounds really, you know, it. It's, I know. Yeah. But, um, okay, so I, I, you know, them being out of the house, I get nervous and I want to make sure that they're home safe at night. And um, when I get the alert that they're like off to the bar or something, I, um, you know, can't sleep. And so I sometimes will text them, go home. 
And, and they're like, like, how does she know I'm not at home? And they think I'm psychic. Yeah. At least that, uh, at least they're getting something from you in this sort of, because at least you're paying for their Ubers, right? Right, like, yeah. You are being a, a, like sort of a big brother character in their lives, but at least, you know, there's a little, there's a little quid pro quo. Yeah, they're yeah. They're getting free rides. Free rides. Yeah. Yeah. And now Maud, who was here recently, and it was so lovely talking to her, she is uh, in Euphoria, which is a show that a lot of parents, yes. Yeah. This is a show that uh, panics parents. Yeah. Because I think a lot of parents watch that, and you know, my kids are younger than yours, and you know, when I see Euphoria, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't think you're ever gonna go to school now. I um, know. But you've had the benefit, obviously, not only do you know Maud, but you've gotten to meet some of the other people on the show. Yes. And that is like calming, right? Well, they, it seems like, I mean, the kids are doing such crazy things on yeah. the show. Yeah. And then um, they'll come over to the house and they're like the nicest, most polite <laughs> kids you've ever met. And so like almost boring, like just <laughs> up to nothing. I think I saw one of them drink a White Claw once or something, <laughs> like just so sweet and so, I, they're just really good actors. Yeah. You know? They're just really Have you good. ever had a couple uh, glass of wine and just been honest and said, I thought you were all going to be a lot more fun? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the crazy one. Yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, I'm, you're I'm, yeah. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> um, you got to work. Uh, we're going to show a clip when we come back, but you got to work with Iris on uh, this film, The Bubble, and your husband, uh, Judd Apatow, directed it, so you have three of you there on set. Is it, I mean, that seems like the best way for a family to spend time together, but you ha do you have boundaries when you're on set together? Well, she has boundaries. Okay. My daughter has boundaries with me, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> there's no, like, hugging or This is what she asks of you. Yeah, yeah. she's like, okay. keep your distance, okay. and, it, you know, is keeps it really professional with me, yeah. and, um, which is fine, um, and... <laughs> I mean, she's what? I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I appreciate what she's doing. I can't imagine it's like easy, but you have to like go well professionally. She's yeah. probably right to yeah, do. Yeah, she yeah. wants me to back off. Yeah, yeah. So she, she wants to do her work. Yeah. I, you know, I'm, I'm lucky enough. Judd will be here tomorrow, and I can, I can obviously ask him this. Does he feel comfortable in directing her? I mean, I think that he is a little bit, um, you know. He's he's very. That's his one area to be like bossy and controlling with yeah. us, because they rule him at home. Oh, right. So he's <laughs> at work. He gets a little. You know, he gets to like, you know, speak up and and oh, that's he nice. could be the. So it's cathartic for yeah, him, yeah, I imagine. Yeah. Growing up in a house full of women, for yes. him to finally be able to like say cut when you're right. talking exactly. must be so nice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I have more questions about the bubble. We'll be right back with more from Leslie Mann.